Are you ever feeling crazy and out of control? If so, April 6th, we're getting crazy for kindness. This means wear your craziest wild pattern and get crazy for kindness, Centric Hammer. <laughs> Good morning, Central Cambria. I'm Brody. And I'm Evan. And today is Wednesday, April 6, 2016. It is day three of our weekly schedule. Today for lunch, we're having this recipe of the month, Chicken a la King. The band is hosting fundraiser night at Hosses tonight. Please see Mrs. Kokus for a coupon if you plan to attend this event. Attention all NHS members. Just a reminder that introduction online RSVP and senior bios must be completed by tomorrow. We are on our third day of the Kindness Week, Central Cambria. Today's theme is Crazy for Kindness. Wear something wild. Thursday, twin. Make a new friend and twin with them. And Friday is Block Out the Haters. Wear some shades to block out the haters. Now over to a Kindness Way video about Twin Day. Hey, Max, you got some pretty big muscles. Hey, TJ, you got some pretty big muscles. Want a twin? Next, Next Thursday, Thursday. Find, find a twin. twin. Now over to sports. This year, Central Cambria's Drama Club is proud to present Bone Chiller. Bone Chiller is full of mystery. It is a comedy that captures you in a series of murders that suddenly occur. The cast has been working very hard since rehearsals started to make the play the best it can be. They are very excited to have a play return to the CC stage for the second year in a row. Uh, the play this year is going great. It's called Bone Chiller. Uh, if you haven't heard about it, it's a murder mystery where all of the guests gather into a, uh, for a dinner party. They gather in a mansion to read um, the will of the late Josiah Travers. And the will itself is actually part of the mystery. You have to, to figure it out as you are watching. Um, so it's kind of interactive, it's very funny, it's a little bit scary, and um, we hope that you come out and, and see it and try to solve the mystery with us. Now over to sports. Week in Red Devil Sports, we had the baseball team beat Cambria Heights away. And our softball team lost a tight match against uh, Penn Cambria at Penn Cambria and went to extra innings. Our junior high volleyball team has already won two matches at home and they placed third and fourth at the North Star Tournament. And a special shout out to Jackie Bracken on being the Marisurf Classic uh, All-Star Basketball Game MVP. Great job, Jackie. Hello, Central Cambria. I'm Brad with the Sports Report. Congrats to Sid Schaefer, who had six serving points and three kills in the junior high volleyball team's win over Johnstown. CC won in two games, 25 to three. 25 to three, Central Cambria. Way to go, girls. Today in sports, we have the first track meet against Cambria Heights and Johnstown, beginning at four. The boys' baseball team is away at Bishop Guilfoyle, beginning at 4:30, and the girls' softball team is also away at Central Martinsburg, beginning at 4:30 as well. Good luck to all of our spring sports. Now over to weather. Hello, Central Cambria. I'm Juliana with the guidance. This week is Kindness Week, and our warm and fuzzies have made their way through the CC halls. Don't forget to pass it on and pay it forward this week. Don't forget, Central Cambria, that ARC stands in the atmosphere of respect, courtesy, and the courage to stand up for what's right. Happy birthday today to Noah Gibson. Now over to Connor's Campaign Corner. Hello, Central Cambria. I'm Connor with Connor's Campaign Corner. Last night was a very big night in politics, with the pri Democratic and Republican primaries taking place in Wisconsin. Ted Cruz was the big winner of the night, with 48.2% of the vote, more than 10 points over his next closest competitor, Donald Trump, who came in at 35% of the vote. On the Democratic side, Bernie Sanders came away with a sweeping victory over Hillary Clinton with 56.5% of the vote and Hillary Clinton with 43%. Now, both can all candidates are looking forward to the next primary in New York in two weeks' time. Now, this is, this is being, because it is Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton's home state, they are both expecting wins, and it would be a big, big blow to their campaign if Ted Cruz or Bernie Sanders can win that state. So we'll check back with you next week and give you an update on what's happening. Now over to a video about why you should vote. 